One, two, three. Happy, Happy Sunday, New Life Kids! I'm Gabby. I'm Tila. I'm Jack. And this one over here is Lily. Oh, that was so cool. I've never done that before. <laughs> Lily 
you today. I'm gonna be like you, and I'm gonna sing. Okay, so it's so proud of you. Um, so that we have this comfort zone. Hello. So we learned that our dirty hands are clean by Jesus's wounded hands. Um, let's say it all together because that is what makes us sinners, or makes us no longer sinners, but saints before, saints before God. So here we go. Our dirty hands are made clean by Jesus's wounded hands. Let's praise Jesus. I like to praise Jesus. Okay, are you ready? I'm so ready. Let's Are you guys ready to hear from Miss Tequila and Gabby's uh, friends and family about how they learned that Jesus, that they needed Jesus to clean them and make them saints? Hi friends! My name is Kira Spillman and I am a friend of Tequila and Gabby's. I hope you all are doing fabulous this morning. So I am outside because I want to tell you a story. And to tell you this story, I'm going to need a special prop. So here we go. So when I was younger, I grew up in a big family. I had four younger brothers and one older sister. That's a lot of kids, isn't it? So when I was young, I accepted Jesus into my heart when I was three years old, but I don't think I ever fully realized how much God loved me and what he did for me on the cross. So when I was older, I went to a school called Moody in Chicago, Illinois. And it was there I had the opportunity to go to a conference called Heirs with Christ and at Moody Church. And while I was there, I heard a man speak about what Jesus did on the cross for me and how even though I was dirty and sinful and did lots of bad things like disobey my parents or lie or steal or didn't get along with my siblings, Jesus still died for my sins and he made a way for me to go to heaven. And it was in that moment that I fully realized what Jesus did on the cross and how much he loved me. Ew, all of that chalk drawing has made my hands super dirty. Do you guys ever get dirty when you're drawing chalk? Well, when I was young, my mom and dad would always help me wash my hands because I wasn't tall enough to reach the sink. And just like your mom and dad helps you clean off your chalk and dirty, disgusting hands, Jesus helps us clean off our dirty sinfulness by dying on the cross and washing our hands and making them white as snow and clean. And we don't have to have dirty, sinful hands anymore. So I hope you enjoyed the story. Bye, boys and girls. Well, didn't they do such a great job? Um, like, didn't the New Life kids do such a great job listening to our friends' testimonies? Yes. Yes, you did. Mm -hmm. Weren't they good? Yes. Yes, they were. Well, now that we we listened to our friends, um, which was, we did a good job, and we learned things, and it was really good, um, I think... Now that I've been sitting, I kind of need to stand up and, you know, like, move around some. What do yeah, you think? My legs are ready to move. <gasps> I need to move. And my, my hands? My hands. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. I think. Yes. It's time. Yes. For. Yes. A. Yes. Wiggle break. break. Okay. Everybody. And up. And get your wiggle out. <laughs> okay. Um, Tila, it's a review week, which it means is. that we get to sing a song. Mm -hmm. And while we sing a song and worship on review weeks, there's three things that we can do. Can you remind the kids what those three things are? We can dance. We can... Sing, oh, and we can clap. 
happy day because last week we learned about Easter and we learned that it is the happiest day of all days because it it's the day that makes us go from sinners to say saints. saints, which is the happiest thing I have ever heard. And I get love getting to share it with you so it can be the happiest day for you too. So we're going to sing our song. It talks about how it's a really happy day because it's the day that Jesus washed us, washed our hands and our hearts of sin and of dirtiness. So let's get into it. The greatest day in history, death is beaten, you have rescued me. Sing it out, Jesus is alive. The empty cross, the empty grave. Life eternal, you have won the day. Shout it out, Jesus is alive. He's alive. And oh, happy day, happy day. You wash my sin away. Oh, happy day, happy day. I'll never be the same. And oh, happy day, happy day. You wash my sin away. Oh, happy day, happy day. I'll never be the same. Because we're now saints we're no longer sinners and we'll never be the same because of what jesus did when he washed our sins away <sighs> i'm so glad we got to tell you about the happiest day in all of history let's sit back down and get into what's next here we go one two three So for our memory verse review, since it's our review week and we hopefully already remember our memory verse from last week, I will start by reading the verse in case we need a little reminder and then we can get our hands ready and do all of our emotions with our memory verse. You ready? Yes. <laughs> cool. <laughs> our memory verse from last week was Isaiah 53, verse 5. But Jesus died for our sins. By his wounds, we are saved. So it's talking about how Jesus' wounded hands helped to make our dirty hands clean and saving us. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the motion? I think so. You should be doing them together. Yeah? Okay. Are you ready? Do you remember the motions? You ready to do them together with us? My one is spread out because we have some big motions with this one. Here we go. Big motion time. Okay. Isaiah 53 verse 5. But Jesus died for our sins. By his wounds, we are saved. Okay, I think I need that one more time. Hey, Gabby, can you remind us why we do this for being saved? Yeah, because remember how we have dirty, dirty hearts and dirty, dirty hands, and how even if we go take a shower, or even if we go wash our hands with soap and water, we can't clean our sin. We can't get inside of our heart and clean out all the bad things we do and the bad things we think and how we don't view God right, and we don't view our friends right, and we don't treat people well. And so we learned how we can't wash it all off, but we need something, someone to wash us off because we're dirty. We're dirty before God. And in this verse, we learn that, we learn who it is that can wash us from our sins because we can't do it. So it's Jesus who saves us. He because of what he did on the cross, because of his wounded hands, he is the one who saves us and cleans us. So it's a really important part of the verse. Should we do it one more time now that we remember what the verse means and hopefully remember the motions for the verse? <laughs> yeah, let's do it all together. 
Isaiah 53, verse 5. But Jesus died for our sins. By his wounds, we are saved. High five. Remember, I'm singing like Lily does today. Oh, anyway, y'all did a great job on your memory verse. It was so cool to be reminded that Jesus saves us by his wounded hands and he makes us clean so we can be saints. But anyway, you'll remember that it's family discussion time. So everyone get your families together so we can review what we learned last week from Mark chapter 15. Okay, Gabby, to heal, let's go. Okay, like Jack just said, it's time for our family discussion questions. So I hope you brought together your mom, your dad, your siblings, whoever you can get together and talk about what we learned last week on Easter from Mark chapter 15. So I have three questions for you. I'm gonna read them now and I hope you can take some time to discuss them with your family and talk about what you learned last week and what Jesus is showing you in your life. So here we go. Question number one. In Mark 15, what were some of the ways that Jesus was wounded and took the consequences for our dirty hands and hearts. Here's a hint. Remember how Jesus was hit by something? Something sharp was put on his head. Something sharp was put through his hands and his feet. Something pierced his side. Question two. We learned on Easter that Jesus died for our sins on the cross. But did Jesus stay dead? Question three, what is one time in your life when you tried and realized that you could not clean your dirty, sinful hands and heart by yourself? Now that you've gone through all the questions, mm -hmm. discuss it with your family. Yeah, have fun. Well, thank you so much for joining us this week, New Life Kids. It was so much fun to talk about how we're no longer sinners, those who believe in what Jesus has done on the cross and taken away our dirtiness. We've been made saints, Christians, people who believe in Jesus and what he's done. So we learned last week that we are sinners. And we learned this week that we can be made saints. And next week, we're gonna look at our hands one more time. And we're going to learn one last thing about who the Bible says that we are. So you better join us next week because I'm really excited for this one. I'm so excited. I can't wait to find out who else we are and find from the Bible because that's the best place to find out because God knows everything. Mm -hmm. Well, Let's praise him through prayer and thank him for what we've learned over Easter last week and what we've been able to review from what we learned from Mark chapter 15 this week. Tila, will you lead us in prayer? Yeah, and I think this week we should raise our hands and thank God. Like we did a few weeks ago mm -hmm. when we learned that he, Jesus, his hands are trustworthy we learned that he is our, the servant, the savior, the son of God who takes people by the hand. So let's put our hands out again and pray to God. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus, for your love for us and for giving your life for us. Thank you, Lord, for giving your son and for being willing to see him on the cross. Father, I pray that we would come together um, and that we would... Um, learn to love one another as you have loved us. And I pray that you uh, would be glorified in us and that 
uh, today that everybody would go and um, would be able to share the story of who Jesus is and what he has done for us. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Well, we will see you next week, New Life Kids.